People come together to, to change the energy, don't they? I was just... <laughs> guess who's been sleeping with stones? <laughs> I know. Uh, I woke up with all my stones. I was sleeping with stones. Let's, let's make it into a story for a few days again now. My bag of stones on my stomach. Show it to us so we can get a good visual idea of what you're talking about. Or just to stretch it out a bit. What the earth? My bag of stones. Here. Just normal old stones. And you know I burn them sometimes. Well. I do. And plus it's a bit of a... Is it recce? Or a crystal thing where you lay crystals and stones on. It kind of helps a lot with multifaceted uh, joy stones. I've got stones all over. <laughs> I did... Uh, where was it gone? I woke up. I just put that one on this morning. That's a white one. I just found. They chained to the bag. That's interesting in itself. I thought I'd laid that on. And I was using it as a meditation like an arsenal. But, um, where's that other one gone? It's that great one I woke up with this morning. That I did actually burn. Or burn. I didn't burn it. Did it burn? Uh... There's the old mirror one, like, it's got one bed in, so it gave the mirror, a mirror one. I've had that for ages, but I found it this morning. I just let over a whole other train of thoughts about, I burnt that stone, it was just a normal stone, when I, and it, or it burnt on me anyway. Um, but this is the one I woke up with. This was just a normal stone yesterday when I went to bed. And it's sort of Taoist now. It's got like a, a sort of yin and yang pack on it. But the, the good bit was this. Look, there's a black line on it. That's just... I slept with that on my throat chakra. I don't really know what it means. Or anything. But I just like the fact that it changed when I woke up. And this one... I've got three, can you see? Like three, you know, really yeah, yeah, it's quite faint. Three lines on it. Uh, that's pretty much it. I've got stones everywhere now, all over the place. Um, I've decided this one was a mole stone. This is what I'm now calling a mole stone, I'm looking at it. And it has changed, and there's like a little bit on there, but it sometimes looks like a fatty lump. And a bit, and it changed a bit, and it's got a little face coming out of it. But I was using that as a... What do you see? Like a... I've lost the other one, the vellum stone. It was like a... Uh, what's it called? Controlling stone. It seems to disappear from somebody stolen it. Oh no, what this mole, I forgot I it's mole stone, it looks like it's mole's foot and mole's nose. So I've uh, just been travelling to that, to be honest. And so, uh, the first one's still nice in their hands, and then they'll tell you where they want to be. So that's that, but then I was just laying here meditating with some white stone on my head. So I'd lost them. There's loads of others here, they've all changed, I've just took them out of the bag, they burn in the bag sometimes. Where the hell you come from? You definitely weren't here before. And they wear away and change. It's nice. Power water there. Oh, really nice. Not a case of overthinking it. It's just like curiosity is getting there. But, uh, I said before, isn't it? Yeah, oh God, get your words out. This is why, I mean, there was, I know it was on Game of Thrones, and that's a fancy thing, but it's a lot that's taken from. You know historical things how they put the stones on them when they die but i've done this like with with my dead fish and things but they burn a pattern the dead burn a pattern onto the stones so the spirit burns onto them and i think that's probably why they put them over their eyes and things we know this well not everyone does it's because they had things to tell for living um so anyway, I've lost that stone now, that old white one. Where's it gone? Which I am off mole travelling with. Um, and there was a black square and a meeting between 
fractions of people in the underworld. Pluto. That's why I saw Pluto. Like a big sun of the tarot. Um, which is the underworld, isn't it? I came later on. But then I was just meditating. And I could see... It was like a, a chip. Because I was talking about that, like computers, like RAM and motherboards and things and hard drives. I didn't say motherboards, but it was like a little chip, I like a motherboard, I suppose. A chip. I find all the words for everything, but just here, in floating around, in uh, in what? Don't know, I suppose. I can't think of the words. Anyway, I could just see it on the bed. And I was just thinking, well, everything's electric. We just go down a, tr- a train of path of thought. And there. Uh, and that started to change. And another. Blah, blah. Two messages are going to come through, basically. Using the tarot as a thing. But also this astral space. Um, <laughs> no one's gonna listen to this bullshit. I don't care. But then they start to change the things on the motherboard or the chip thing. It was just floating around, all electric, blah blah. So energy's everywhere. That's we can all we can all agree on that. Even the science people. And they started to to change to like standing stones. Basically, the same, but like, okay, so the, that's like standing stones must work in the same way. It's like an energy thing. Um, from the, I don't really know why, I don't know why, but anyway, it just led me on to the next train of thoughts. And the standing stones things came quite a lot. Um, in context. Then turn to like people in a meeting, like how people gather together and they work in the same way as like standing stones, which is the same as a chip. So, and the energy within the people is, I don't know. And then you go away again. But why are you pull together to, to create that energy or electricity or change and then move apart again? I was watching it. And at the black square place, and how the energy changed. But then another thing yeah. used that energy in a different way. I think actually that's probably part of it. That probably makes sense actually. As like an astral, what are we going to call it? Like an astral shower. They took that energy and it reformed, or the, the energy that then changed and created something else. Where do you get mole stones from? And you, you just you just make them stuff. <laughs> oh, you know. Stones old 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 wisdom. They have loads of wisdom stones. But this came about that actually that's the other thing I was thinking. It's to do with the I was talking the other day about static. And it's called giving off charge, that's what they call it. I couldn't think of it the other day. Oh she's giving off charge. It's like when you you are basically giving off static or, you know, whatever these different things are called basically you're spiking or there's so many different words for it i don't i don't even know what they are but um it's often a good time to burn it into stones you can focus it into the stones another one came up with white heart on actually today oh it's gone only a small one I've got so many stones. A small white heart. I don't know where it's gone. I did say. I'm not lying. And. Like the surface system changes as well. And sometimes I wonder if it's to do with. Like pulling things out of your body. You know different negative things 
And if they do that, they must be the same way to put things in as well. Like an exchange of minerals or toxins. Because this is how I burnt this one before, after I got irradiated by that thing on the golf course. And then I came back and just burnt loads of stones. It's like I sent all the whatever it was into the stones. Or used the stones as like sandpaper. But this one completely, this is when I started talking about pigeon's eggs, not pigeon's eggs, seagull's eggs, isn't it? Do you remember when I said somebody could probably do with eating seagull's eggs because of the composition of them? It would probably help there. Some of the health issues they were having at the time because there'd be more, theoretically, more amoebas in the seagull eggs because they live off fish. Um, and this one, this one as well, I've had this morning. I don't understand what's going on with this. What's happening? Where's it going? It's kind of still, it's like it's been burnt, it's been burnt or something. My wound, my wound's burning, it's you. Toxic wound, I love that. <laughs> I'm not suggesting everyone goes eating seagulls eggs, but it's just like... It was a project we were working on at the time. This looks like a clavicle, or what's it called? Like um, a bone of some sort, doesn't it? Whatever it is. Shoulder bone, I think. Not quite a shoulder. What is it? A bone of some sort, isn't it? Keep burning it, see what it turns into. I changed my mind later on. Don't oh, worry, I saw what I was doing. And that one, which I don't know, what is it? What does it mean to you? Nothing. I put that one downstairs on my altar that's like that with just like a red strike in it. That was my first one. That was my first... My first burn stone. And this one, one of the first ones I noticed anyway. Pretty recent. Pretty cool. Pretty cool thing to learn. I don't know what this is as well. I've got a, a, a vague feeling. It's, it looks a bit like a pot. A bit of pottery. From Egypt, probably. I reckon it's a bit of old, it's like an old pyramid, probably, somebody's wiped away and chucked into the magic woods, for me to find. They probably brought it over on a, on a, on a bus, it was probably round full of honey, and they came travelling, that's what the first big boy is. Sure. I felt like it earlier. Mm. How much did it? Oh, I'm just going to finish that book this morning and then I'm going to go and do something else. How much have I got left? About 20 pages, I think. I can easily get that big. Uh, 10 pages, I think. Five, seven, six, two, five, eight, six. I'm going to do that now. Put my stones away. And then. Work on something else. Something else. Oh my god, I just know I'm gonna have a oh, see everything actually, where's it gone? 
almost said it's one of the <laughs> This one. How do you know it's, what to put where? Well, you just decide. The stones touch to tell you. you. Just do it. But this one's there. It looks like a white coffee bean. Someone's had a white bean put on her. Oh, that old milk there. But I think that's what he's to do with the energy thing. Let's see what I more. That's the thing. Puts you in places you wouldn't have wanted to go. You have to trust the energy. If you didn't go to those places, you wouldn't. That's the thing, isn't it? This is just a big old white. This is this has changed as well. I put it over, sort of over my throat chakra, and. Um, just down there, that bit. Just earlier on, to see if we could do anything. Do anything with that? We just made it all a bit rough. The stone and all. Um, well, so we can... Just that one. Not stone. I'm just wanted to see him. Red dots. Yeah. This is interesting as well. How these bits just form on them, like little what are they called, like uh, deposits of. Probably an alchemist. Yeah. It's just an actual real one. Or proper wizard. I want to be using one place, next time they might want to be somewhere else. Yeah. What do you call this for? Person who talks to stones? You had a proper name for it. Wizard. <laughs> a tolly cobra. Everyone's got different words for them. They ain't no tolly cobra in it. My hillstone, that's it, he's still my hillstone. I might say next time, it doesn't really matter anyway. It doesn't matter to me. Things go where they need to go. I remember somebody saying, I spoke to somebody, it might have been the woman who told me about parsley actually, being a witch's thing. Um, well, she had a really nice de deck of tarot and they got stolen, which is really annoying. But, um,. I think it's to do with the charge of things, isn't it? They can charge a certain way and then they go, well, I've burnt sets of tarot before, which I don't think is uncommon, but they just have to go. They have to go and do something somewhere else for whatever reason. Either they've collected up a negative charge and that needs to be taken to some other people, or they've just been charged just right for those other people to use, or some other karmic thing will happen. If something goes, you have to let something else come in its place. It's annoying, though, but it'll change your energy, won't it, if your tarot's been taken. You'll then elevate in some way, probably. Like, uh, <laughs> or maybe it's part of the lesson. It's not always the thing that holds the power. It's the, mm, you know. I don't know. I don't really know. What's in that? My damn glasses. There they are. And let's have just a cup of tea. Uh, I found a ring. Look, it was all of my rings anyway. I wonder if this has got anything to do with the current change in. I have an old Celtic type ring. 
I feel like not giving a while back. And there's a cut in the bottom because she was trying to make it all into toe rings. I think she was trying to cut something through actually. This one wouldn't cut. So I, I kept it uncut. But it was outside in the garden on a magpie leaf ring thing. So I was wearing it the other day. Maybe that's why I've got this wizard stuff happening now. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I've been on a wizard, a wizard stool. So she got to the next day. No, I'm going to do it back on the floor. So it work like aerials, do they? What? Stay in circles? Have we had this conversation before? I'm late to it. My heart, my heart of the earth, I don't know. Yeah, they're cool. Black heart with a molten core. <laughs> I'm going to have a 